Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tax Laws video. I'm in front of the TV and it is time to set up the new Apple TV. So we got the Apple TV, we got our power cord which is already plugged in and on the back side of the Apple TV you only got one place to inside your power cord and that's it. Now the Apple TV will uh, boot. You got the blinking LED on the front side. And the second uh, thing you want to install or to plug in is an HDMI cable. But you don't get an HDMI cable with your expensive Apple TV. You have to get one yourself. I've already got one HDMI cable here. It's already plugged into the television. And on the back side, you got your HDMI port. Just uh, plug it in and you are done. The next step you want to do is switch the HDMI port on your TV to this one where you have now plugged in the HDMI, uh, the Apple TV, which should be HDMI, uh, HDMI 1 here. And we got connection and there we go. This is the Apple TV setup screen and this is step one. Now uh, you need the Apple remote, which I've placed on the table behind the camera. So we got our Apple remote and now we just hit it and uh, you can now choose your language, which I will now do as uh, English and just press Oh, uh, a lot of people ask, hey, there's no enter button here. Yes, you're correct. You got this touch surface on top of the, of the uh, remote, but you can press the whole area to enter, to click. And now select your country or region, Germany in my case. And the next step is really, really cool. Now you got two choices to set up your Apple TV. The second one is set up manually. This is the old way. This is now would be now mean I will do the normal thing. Just swipe down and hit it if you want to do it the old way. Or if you don't have any iOS devices. In this case, you have now your first step will be connection to your home Wi-Fi, and you have to enter first select your Wi-Fi and then enter your Wi-Fi password by swiping and around and pushing all the letters and numbers. And after this, you have to do this again with your Apple ID. Put in your Apple ID email and then your Apple ID password. But there's a better way now. We got uh, option one here, set up with device. So if it requires iOS 9.1, so the, uh, uh, the brand new iOS version, and uh, you need an iOS device. So an iPod Touch, an iPad or even an iPhone. And I will now demonstrate this one here because set up your Apple TV with another iOS device. I got tier my iPad with iOS 9.1. First of all, unlock your iOS device. Check. Second, enable Bluetooth. Swipe up and enable Bluetooth. Push the Bluetooth button and there you go. And now step three, hold device close to Apple TV. I just uh, put my iPad on the Apple TV and now both devices have connected or they have found it, found it out just. Hit next. You can see set up Apple TV, something is changing here. Scanning for network, it now knows my home Wi-Fi network and it's connecting to it automatically, which is really cool because no more pushing any buttons, no swiping around, no selection of any keys. Now I have to enter my Apple ID Apple ID and password on my iPad. The email is already here, but I have to confirm my Apple ID password. And uh, frankly, typing the password on an iPad is way easier than typing it with you, the Apple TV on your TV. Then I get this third notification. Do I want to send any data to Apple to improve their devices? I can choose yes or no. I just hit no thank you. And we are done. This is it. You don't need your iOS device anymore. Now go back to the Apple TV remote. And now you get a couple of questions. First of all, location service. Do you want to enable location services or disable it? I have definitely no clue why my Apple TV needs uh, my the location services. Maybe it wants to show me weather information of any kind. So I just will enable it. Just connected. See the world. Now, there we got the brand new wallpapers and wallpaper videos. A lot of people, uh, earlier reviewers, are saying these are looking astonishing and nice. I'm not pretty sure about this because if I'm 
uh, turning on the TV. I don't want to see any fireplaces or I just want to see something. I want to see, watch a movie, see a TV show. I don't want to get any wallpapers here. But of course I will test them out now. I really just noticed uh, the information down here. Downloads are about 600 megabytes a month. Of course at home, no problem. So I will automatically download, uh, I will enable it. Then diagnostics and usage. Select send to Apple or don't send. I just hit don't send. Terms and conditions. I agree. Yes, of course. If you don't agree, you can't use your Apple TV. And there we go. This is a brand new home screen of your Apple TV. Uh, we swipe down and these are all the apps which are pre-installed. It looks really less than on the old Apple TV devices because now we got an own Apple TV, Apple App Store here and we can download and install uh, apps ourselves. And we got movies from iTunes, we got TV shows from iTunes, we got the App Store, we got photos, photo stream from iOS devices, we got music from Apple Music or our own Apple Music Cloud, we got the search, we got computers if you want to stream stuff from your PC or Mac, and of course we got settings over here. Uh, general settings just check out you can say change a lot of things uh, theory and all the stuff oh it did not ask me about Siri Siri is turned off why is Siri turned off because I assume I've changed the language to English but I've uh, stayed in the location in Germany and this won't work uh, in the normal in the German version in the German video Siri works you don't get a lot of function but you get a uh, voice search for for, uh, for example so normally Siri is now turned on and I can now show me uh, use voice commands like um, show me uh, movies with Julia Roberts and all this stuff and one thing is really cool um, if you have installed let's oh first of all the buttons here the menu button and the top left uh, brings you always one step back. The other one that looks like an airplay symbol is your home button, which brings you to the home screen immediately. So no getting back step by step. And one cool thing, the App Store will show you a lot of, not a lot of apps. There are only a couple of your apps yet, like for example, Netflix. And one really nice thing, if you have installed the Netflix apps, and then, for example, you search for House of Cards. It will show you House of Cards. And you got now two options here, depending on how many apps, or you got even more options, depending on how many streaming apps you have installed. Um, for example, I've got the normal iTunes, and if I have, or without Netflix, and I search for House of Cards, it will only show me House of Cards on iTunes for rental and to buy them. If I've also installed Netflix, it will also show me uh, House of Cards on Netflix, which is really a nice feature. And I would have not guessed that Apple is allowing this because this is a really nice thing. Amazon on its Fire TVs does not support voice commands for other apps or other streaming needs. So we got Netflix here. We got some German uh, video uh, media takes. We got Vivo, Crush and Crow, we got our sports, UFC, NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, we got uh, YouTube, we got Vimeo, we got ABC News and down here we got a lot, a lot, a lot of gaming apps. And I'm really excited to try out the Apple TV remote. How good it is, is it in gaming? Can I use it as a wheel for driving? Can I play tennis with it or bowling? But uh, just like uh, with the Wii, Wii, Nintendo Wii remote. But keep in mind, you don't got this uh, band to, to strap your uh, Apple TV remote to your wrist. Apple charges you 15 euros additionally for this just little plastic band. Um, so don't throw your Apple TV remote into your TV. So we got a lot of other games here. And in the settings, we got features. Oh, no, on top here, we got featured, we got purchased. So all my iOS apps uh, for my iPhone or for my iPad, which also work on the Apple TV, are now shown here. So we got Netflix, we got YouTube, MLPT, uh, Major League Baseball. So just a couple of apps. I really have over a 
couple of hundreds, maybe 500 different iOS apps on my devices or I've purchased them for my devices, they are not all downloaded on the devices. And out of those maybe three, four, five hundred, we only got one, two, three, fifteen. We got fifteen apps which are already compatible for the new Apple TV. So I can't see Spotify here. I can't see whatever. I can't see uh, Amazon Prime Instant Video. And this is one really nice thing. Uh, Amazon has stopped selling the Apple TV because it does not support the Amazon apps, uh, the Amazon uh, Prime Instant Video streaming service. And Apple has just announced, hey, we are totally fine with Amazon building their own app for the Apple TV. So Amazon, get going, give me my Prime app for the Apple TV. And purchase and we can, of course, search for different apps. So like, um, let's try Spotify again. There is no Spotify app here, but maybe it will show me something, um, another app which supports Spotify. So Spotty, oh, and as always, just swipe over the touch surface, the trackpad or touchpad or whatever you want to call the top part of the Apple TV and just swipe up and down, Spotty and Fi, but you already can see no results for Spotify. So we can go back, back, or just hit the home button and go totally back. So this is it. This is how to set up the Apple TV and you can do some other things. You can see audio output, surround sound, <laughs> reduced sound, navigate clicks. You've got a couple of things you can choose here or you can do set up. I really would have loved to show you Siri on the Apple TV, but in this constellation here in Germany with the English language, it does not work yet. Hopefully they will change this. So this is it. This is how to set up your Apple TV and play around with it. And just for, for uh, to show you, so you got your App Store and uh, featured. <clears throat> Let's go down to the featured apps and there we go. Just for example, Netflix, just uh, get the Netflix app. You can get your information about the apps. You got install, just hit this touch, just press the touch surface again. It will automatically start to download your Netflix app. You get your open or just go back to the home screen. And now there is the Netflix app here. And if you want to remove it, just choose select the app or just go to the app and then keep pushing push 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 now it's wiggling and now i can turn it i can even no i yes i can get even get it into the into the short menu here without any problems so and now then go to the netflix app for example and then sign into your netflix app uh, app totally normal by putting in your email and putting in your password and here we go, you have to now do this manually one by one. And there is an Apple TV or an Apple, Apple TV remote app for iOS, which I don't know why, but it is not yet supporting the fourth generation of the Apple TV. So you can't type on the keyboard of your Apple TV with this Apple TV remote app the passwords for any of the things you have really have to go buy the Apple TV or use the Apple TV remote and push button for button and swipe around and enter all your information, all your passwords by hand. This is really annoying. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>